At the time in history in which we live, we are in desperate need of godly, qualified, solid pastors. Biblically solid. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Matthew 9, 38. If it was so easy to get into pastoral ministry, if it was so easy to preach a sermon, throw something together at the 11th hour on a Saturday night, if it was so easy to send spiritually minded people into the ministry, God would have not told us to pray that he would send laborers into the field. Now, I'm not speaking about cultivating the already dismal culture of Christian preaching as we have it today, where there's little or no preparation at all taking place by those who are watching over the people as a shepherd. They are supposed to be screwing truth into the minds of their people, and they aren't. With the 500-year anniversary of the Reformation taking place, we have a need to press forward as a church continuing Reformation in the desire to see revival occur. But spiritual awakening is never going to happen without good pastors, solid pastors, biblical pastors, pastors who have been educated and equipped to lead the flock into a deeper walk with Jesus Christ and to perform spiritually the works for the good of their families, church, and community. It's not just about preaching. Pastoral theology doesn't deal simply with preaching. That's simply homiletics. It deals also with the life of the pastor. It deals also with visitation. It deals also with catechizing. If you want to see revival, we're going to need qualified preachers who know how to do these things in an educated and biblical manner who in turn can preach effectively, boldly, powerfully, zealously, clearly, and precisely to the congregation. The selective choice of the minister is going to directly influence the success or the failure of a given church. So if you choose someone who's not duly qualified for the office, you're going to have failure and not revival. And if the church wants to see real revival in its midst, real revival, and be reminded of the kind of reformation that history has showed us through men preaching like Luther and Calvin when we think about reformation, or Jonathan Edwards with the Great Awakening, or Whitfield, real revival, if we desire to see that, then the church has to be keen and wise biblically wise in its selection of the man who will lead them to the throne of grace effectively.